guys, Zaki here, and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry with me. Hello. I decided to get some other wood types because they're really easy. We already had the stuff for it. It's the same recipe as the oak sapling, which is just cellulose and oxygen. It's just in slightly different configurations. So oxygen there and cellulose there gives you birch. And then for spruce, it's dead and dead. So super simple. I just got a couple that I wanted. Got a little bit of... The wood types and then I did a little bit of mining with my hammer I got my layers going down here and I think this looks pretty neat kind of modern <laughs> sure um but yeah that just got that going so I got a lot of white and light gray antimatter and some of it I have broken down so there was a lot more in here um but yeah so we're already on the second chapter and we can either continue on with our different types of colors that we can get or we can take a quick break from the chemistry stuff and make a house because you know me i'm i'm a decorative girl i like to decorate i like pretty things so i think i want to make a house and since we're doing chemistry stuff i think i want to do something that i haven't done in a very long time if ever if i'm going to be 100 percent honest with that uh, I'm going to make a modern house. I think that'll be a uh, challenge. And I think my color palette. Now, I know I got things for birch. That might be the floor of the inside of the building. The outside's going to be... The only wood type I want to use is spruce. I did think about dark oak, but I think spruce is going to look the best. And I don't think there's chisel. Yeah. So I think spruce is going to look the best for us. Uh, so let's do that, and then my two or three <laughs> uh, things that I want to use for the outside. Now, I could use stone, especially because we have the ability to make that now, which is some of the silicon dioxide. Because I have gotten, I have 21 tungsten, 106 iron, a bit of copper, bit of zinc, lots of other stuff, and then a bunch of things in here. So I do have access to... Uh, couple different blocks. Now the easiest of course is going to be using the antimatter. Now I can use the light gray, I could use the white, I could use the gray. Um, I'm thinking the two colors that would work the best with the spruce is going to be white but then also unfortunately gray and I would need a lot more tungsten for that. And I have 21 so I can make another stack or so. I'm not planning on using too much of it I also could use stone. I could use the light gray. Like, I have options. Now, I know generally we would want to use concrete uh, for this sort of stuff because it would look a little bit better. But it's disabled, so I can't even use that anyway. Probably because it would interact with the antimatter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I want to do something like that. Should we use stone? Just plain stone instead of the light gray, so that I'm not wasting the light gray so much. Mm. It would give a texture difference as well. I definitely want to use the dark gray. Yeah, why not? Let's use some stone. So to make stone, it was just silicon dioxide. I've got a ton of that. Let's, uh, combiner. And then just top center. And then just let that run. Um, I will say... At some point, we're going to have to go down this red antimatter quest because this is going to get us to getting some furnace generators so we don't have to cook food anymore to get our power. Because I don't want to rely on the food too much because I'm running a little low on it. I mean, I can always get more bread. I've just not been using it so much. I do want to need, or do want to need, I need some more dirt at some point too. I know we have eight hanging out here uh but to craft dirt we need water and cellulose which we both can get those pretty easily and the problem is the kaolin ka kaolinite um because the only way to get it is either through dirt which doesn't help sponges don't have clay eh, or crafting it um with aluminum oxide and to get aluminum oxide we'd have to break down obsidian granite Diorite, like a bunch of stuff that we don't have. Or combine it with oxygen and aluminum, and the only way to get aluminum is through cobblestone. 
or stone. It's a higher percentage with stone. So we probably would have to do that. It's like a, it's a step-by-step -step thing. Is stone done? Yeah. So, like I said, I don't want to make this too complicated either. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to use, I, I've unhooked the uh, crafting, the, the, the storage system right now. Because one, I can't store a lot in there. And also it eats power like crazy, even when you're not actively using it. So I put my eggs back in here. They're all safe and sound. And then I'm just going to use a normal crafting table. So I think I want our house to be over here. And I want it to be farther. Sorry. Yeah, didn't mean to yawn there. A little farther than I've been having like these things. Because I don't want it to be right up against. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here would be the front of the house. So I'm going to put this here to mark that. I think that's far enough away. Not too close, not too far. So let's see. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. I have not planned it at all. I do have a couple um, reference images that I'm working on or staring at. And they've got two slightly different. So here's the thing with modern buildings is the, you have the super angular boxes or you have like curves and just, just like all of these really, really unique shapes going on. And But with houses, they don't usually have the curves so much. It's really just the boxes and big windows. That's the other thing too is like we have to get sand. And sand's not hard because it's just sil silicon dioxide. Because once we get the sand, we can make glass. Because glass you have to smelt. It, there, there's no option just to make it in the thing. You have to smelt it. But that's fine. And we can get these big old glass windows. Now do we have clear glass? Is that a thing? Clear glass. Uh, I have to go through Tinkers for that. And Tinkers seems relatively normal, but we'd have to get clay and gravel, which we might have to go to a different dimension for that stuff. So I'm not going to worry about it too much right now, but we can at least start, because I think it'd be fun. Um, so where's my reference? Okay. Now I have to think, do I want to, like, have stairs that go up to it or do I want it flat? And I do think I want stairs. The question is, is what kind of stairs? I think, I think, I think. I'm probably going to be leaning really heavily on one of these images that I have. So I think I want spruce stairs going up to it. So this is the very front. And now I can move this because I've marked that. So this is going to be the very front. I think I'm going to do two steps. Do I want to do two steps or do I want to do a slab? I should probably really make an axe. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I can also use cobblestone because that'll make it a little bit easier. I could do tinkers as well, but I don't think... Eh, maybe I should do tinkers. At tinker. Because I don't remember what all the tables are. I haven't used, tink used tinkers in a very long time. Do I have access to any of the tables? There we go. Stencil table. Okay. Let, 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 let's figure this out real quick. I'm going to grab that. And I want to use my oak because I don't want to waste things. We're going to do this. Oh, we could use a little bit of the spruce. So this is going to make our parts builder. This will make our stencil table. We'll just keep it all together here for now. And then I feel like I'm missing something. Tool station? Tool station. So we have to make a crafting table and then make it into a stool. Nope. Tool station. So stencil. We want to make a axe. It's just going to be a simple axe. Alright, so stick, tool rod, and then the little binding pattern. And then in here, right, let me grab that cobblestone that I had somewhere. There we go. 
that, do this, I'll make one stone axe head, and then I believe for the other two things, we're just gonna keep it wood. We don't want to go, no, not too fancy. There's no need. Da, da, da. Stone hatchet. Perfect. And then I do think I also want a pattern chest, so. Because of course. Take this, grab a pattern. Pattern chest. We'll just slap that here for now. Okay, because this also makes it even and makes me happy. So. <laughs> That's gonna be perfect. That'll help a lot. Let's organize the inventory a little bit. Don't need all this stuff. Okay. So let's see. I might want to do like a house lab because maybe that's too many stairs up. Maybe. Ish. Uh. I'm trying to make decisions on the fly and I'm not good at that. So if we do this... And then, so I probably will put stairs underneath. I probably should have did this before. Yeah. It's not going to let me do it. <laughs> I can't get close enough. There we go. Do that. Okay. And then, let's see. Do we want, we do want the door to be center. How big do we want our porch? don't know because here's the thing so we have the gray antimatter now too i want these stairs to do i want them to stick out or do i want them to stay in Hmm. Mm. because otherwise the option would be to do that Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> i'm not good at decisions Okay, I do know this is going to do that. So regardless, this is going to have to be here. So we'll, we'll... Do we want it that way? Do I want it that way? Here. You know what? I'm going to... So here's the thing, I have this as the front of the house, screw the distance, it's fine, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to have it like this, but then on this side, we're going to have it different. So that, 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 that's how modern houses work, right? So they're, they're different, depending on the side that you're looking at. And I probably will want to have this as a different color too. Now I know I'm on white antimatter on the ground. That's going to change, hopefully, <laughs> once I get dirt and stuff. Ooh, I could also do stone, but then, like I said, I'm going to kind of heavily rely on one of the images that I'm looking at. Now, I don't know how big I want this to be. I do know odd number because I love odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, let's do nine. And then this side will probably also do nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we're just gonna do it straight across like that. Does that look good? See, now my question is, is I don't know if I like that. Maybe I should move this one out. Hammer. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna move it one out. Because this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 makes me feel better. Okay. So we're going to do that. That's how that's going to be. Now the porch here is going to go out. Oops. Or, here's the other thing with a lot of modern buildings. Or futuristic, if you want to say. There's a lot of plants involved. So we could make this like a little garden area here. So this can continue the porch here. Maybe not that spot. Continue the porch here. And this porch will continue this way, but right here will be kind of like a planted area. So let me grab... I only have eight dirt, but it's the dirt I'm going to use. And we'll get more later. We'll do... Mm, now the question is, is, do I want it to be flush like that? Or... 
Because my, my, my porch is on an odd thing, so I can also just go down one. I'm not sure what would look better in this case, because if I'm going to have plants, they won't peek up over this thing. So I have to do it the one up. So that way when I do plant things, you can actually see it. Which, do I like this thing going on? I could put stairs here. Because here's the thing. Here's the other thing. I got lots of things. This porch is going to be that wide. So, if I put stairs here, it won't look so weird with the dirt. I just might want to do this. So that way it kind of transitions a little bit better into that. Sure. Okay. So now let's figure out our height a little bit. So, so, I need more porch. I need more porch. Porch material. Okay. Because that's as far as this is going to go. And we're just going to go doot. Oops. Doot. Put it down. Thank you. I think this curves this. That, that'll go that way now. We'll put that in. So now we want our, like, so, okay. Trust me. Everything will be fine once I figure out how doors work. So our door is going to be here. I should just go ahead and make the door. I know this is not a modern looking door, but it's going to have to work. So what I can do too is make a bunch of trap doors. Oh, it makes... This is... Oh. Mm. Why doesn't it do what I want? <laughs> There's only one kind of trap door. Unless I make a framed one. Ooh, I love doing the frames. Uh, because the frames, too, I can probably cheese something here. Hang on. Let me, let me, let me look at the frame stuff. Because this does give me access to angles. Now, does it have... It does not. See, I was thinking, too, about, like... I don't want to call them sideways stairs, but that's kind of what I'm thinking, and I don't know how else to explain that. As framed walls. Hmm. I don't know. That's where the door goes. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. And then I do think I want... Hmm. So the porch is already spruce. I don't know if I want to bring the spruce into the wall yet. I could do stone on this side. I don't know how that's going to connect yet, but we can do stone on this side. Let's bring the stairs out some more, so just so I got some more walking room here. Yeah. So we'll do stone here. Definitely there's going to be stone. Now, here's the thing. Do I want this porch to wrap around? I, I, there, there does have to be like there does have to be like the boxes don't line up like they're not supposed to line up ever that that is the key I think <laughs> one two three maybe sure I don't know I don't know what I'm doing I don't know one two three because this is going to look shorter. I've learned that sound is it's just reloading my inventory with stuff. So do I want the stone to touch the door? Sure. We'll do this. And then maybe fill this with glass or... Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying also really hard because I've noticed that what I'm doing is I'm basically copying the reference image and I don't want to do that because then it's just copying and it's not a reference anymore. <laughs> so I'm trying to change it up at least a little bit, but this is very difficult to say the least. Okay, because this does this. Now this wall 
should this wall push out or be pushed farther in? Because I do kind of want more porch space. So if I put the wall here, it lines up. I don't think I want it to do that. I think I want to push this back so I get more space, but I do need to put a wall here anyway. It's just now going to do this. And we'll have a go back one. Oops, I didn't mean to fall. And then I could do like a little spruce accent on the walls because now it's kind of separated. I could also have it go all the way down and meet up. I'm not sure how exactly I want to do this, but we'll, we'll at least do this. I don't know, I think this is how tall I want this to be. So we'll kind of... I haven't decided. My brain don't work like that. We'll do that. Maybe? I don't think that- that doesn't feel tall enough. Doesn't feel right. I feel like it needs to be taller. I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know, because this is going to be at least two stories. I mean, I haven't even planned out what rooms- alright, so this is the entrance. So it's going to go into here. And I said I wanted- I said I wanted birch to be the inside, because I'm going to have a lot of it. And it does bring another color change, so let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll come in here. I don't know if I like the birch. Birch is a lot more yellow than I remember it being. Hmm. Should I just stick with oak? Like, honestly, because oak's not as yellow. It is more of a boring brown, though. I wish there was a just whiter wood. If I look at planks, yeah. Juniper! I don't know where that is. I don't know where that grows. Can I make the juniper? Juniper sapling. No. I cannot craft it. I hoped. Hmm. What are my other options for flooring? Don't really have much at the moment because of, you know, the world I live in. <laughs> my only other option would be to egg. Ooh, two eggs. Four eggs. Five eggs. Lots and lots and lots of eggs. My only other option would be to, uh, Use maybe more of the floor. I I don't know. I went in here thinking I was gonna do so well. Oh now I'm not thinking too confidently. <laughs> Building takes a while. Should I stick with it? I I don't know what to do. Because the colors are so monotone outside of the actual spruce. Now I could just continue the spruce throughout. But I feel like it's going to take away the accents of the wall. And what I can do is I can make dark oak saplings. Do I have any more cellulose? Yeah. This is going to give me enough. Um, I can make dark oak saplings. I forgot you were doing that. More food. I got some pears. That's probably not enough. Um, I'm running out of food. Power things. Let's see. We want to make this. Move the items, please. Resume. There we go. Oh, and I put all my dirt down. I need four of those. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. Give, 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 give. Thank you. Okay. Let's put this here. 
and grow this. So, because then my next plan is, is we can change to where the outside accents, other than the porch, I think I'll keep the porch spruce, but the inside will be uh, spruce, and then the walls on the outside will be dark oak. If that makes any sense. I have no idea. I want a pretty house. But I also want a better brain to, sh to understand how all of this works. Okay, thankfully I'm getting saplings back at a higher rate. Um, so let's see what this... So if I take away this and make it dark oak... This might look a little bit better. There's something under there and I can't tell if it's an egg or not. Nope. I want that. Can I have it? Thank hey. It's not gonna give it to me. Whatever. Um Yeah, I think the dark oak's gonna work a little bit better, and that way I can just keep using spruce on the inside of the house without worrying too much about getting something that works better. Okay. So, let's see. How far do I want to bring this wall out? Probably gonna do... Because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5. See, that's not a big wall. 6, 7. We'll do 9. Sure. And then on this one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because this will go farther back anyway. Ten, eleven. I want this to be a big box. And this will probably pretty much just be the size of the house, because we also want it to go up a story. Now, where that staircase is going to be, who freaking knows? <laughs> I don't think it really matters. Okay, we'll do this. And then how about we have... So this dark oak accent, this will kind of be like... Hmm. No, we'll just have this box take over like that gap here. Oops. Ran out just at that block. That's fine. So that'll kind of be the shape of the house for the base of it. And then I do think we're going to have a second floor... Where that's gonna go, who knows. And then the roof. I know a lot of modern houses kind of have a flat roof. But I have seen a couple where they have like this angled roof. And it's just the ever so slight of an angle. Um, but I'm not sure if that's gonna work super well with this. I won't know until I do it. So in between episodes, I think I'm gonna try and finish up this house to the best of my ability. Uh, we'll see. Because I think we're at the end. Yeah, I'm over by quite a bit. Whoops. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you had any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below. I always greatly appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!